guys, welcome back to my declutter series. Today is Saturday, October, I think it's the 6th or is it the 7th? Um, and it's actually been a while since I have filmed one of these declutters. So up until now I have filmed or decluttered everything except for my lip products and I've really, really been dreading the lip products portion of the declutter because I know some of these have gone terribly bad. There's some that have mold on them and I just have way too many and I love lip products like it's just so hard for me to get rid of them it's very similar to my blushes and before I get started I know that there is absolutely no way in my entire lifetime I could use up all of these lipsticks I know that but to me ooh, my door just shut <laughs> by itself it's kinda creepy I think it was the air conditioning um I forgot what I was saying oh my god uh, I got a lot of heat in my blush declutter, I'll just put it that way, and to me, some of these makeup products are kind of like collector's items to me, just like some people collect stamps, some people collect Beanie Babies, some people collect baseballs and clothes and shoes, um, I collect makeup, it's, it's just what I do, so um, if that's, you know, something that you don't understand, then, you know, you don't understand it, but a lot of people do, and so... I would like to kind of leave it at that, but I do plan on decluttering. I would like to declutter half of my lip products, at least half of my lip products. So in this video, um, I'm going to try to break it up. I know you guys can't see. Maybe I'll give you a little bit of a sneaky peeky over here. These are all of my lip products. So I have a couple of different drawers. There's another one underneath here, lip liners. So. I would like to kind of dwindle this down to half, and I'm going to start with my MAC lipsticks. I was trying to figure out in my mind like how I wanted to kind of categorize this declutter, because I can't do it all in one video. That would just be way, way, way too long. So I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to start with my MAC lipsticks, and then I'll move into non-MAC lipsticks, and then maybe liquid lipsticks, lip glosses. Um, and you know, maybe we'll just go from there. We'll see. It might turn into something different. But I'm definitely going to start with MAC because that's what's in front of me. So that's what this video is going to be about. I thought about categorizing it into like colors. So like nude, nude colors and then like non-nude colors. But then I'd have to open every single one up and like see whether it falls into the nude category or not. And then at that point I might as well just declutter while I'm at it. You know what I mean? So anyways, long story short, we are going to be decluttering MAC lipsticks today. And if you guys have never seen any of my declutter videos before, I will link my playlist down below. I've done a ton of these. I've just been in a huge decluttering mode. I actually try to declutter my collection about twice a year. Sometimes right around the spring and then right around the fall. I just kind of declutter and get rid of old stuff or stuff I'm not using. But lip products is one of those things that's really hard for me. Um... I do also categorize my declutters into three categories, the keep category, the giveaway or donate category, and the Poshmark category. Now with something like lip products, I really, really hesitate putting those on Poshmark or giving them away just because of the nature of it being a product that goes on my lips. Now if there happens to be something that is brand spanking new, then I will consider either selling it or giving it away. But otherwise, sadly, if I'm not keeping the lip products, I will probably go ahead and um, get rid of it. I might keep some and maybe offer them to my sisters. Um, or Like I have a box, so I also have my Poshmark stuff right over here. I'm getting ready to post some stuff on Poshmark. And I have a box of stuff that I can't sell, but I, I want to give away. So maybe I'll toss them in there. I just, it's, it's weird with lip products, you know? So anyways, we will definitely have a keep and get rid of pile that we'll look at. So, whoo, all right, longest intro ever. Let's go ahead and hop into this. So you will see that I definitely still have, ooh, this is not MAC. That is Jeffree Star, and these are not MAC either. So let me put those aside. Um, I definitely have a lot of MAC. MAC is definitely one of my favorite brands of lip products. I still have a ton that are in boxes. I know it's a problem. So <laughs> nobody has to tell me that. I know, I know, I know. But the goal of this declutter is to get things out of boxes and to use as much as I can. So I'm actually just going to hop in. You know, I might start with like the non-limited edition things or, you know, stuff that are in black bullets instead of the fun colored bullets because... 
that seems to be kind of the easiest way. I might zoom out a little bit. There you go. Maybe pull these a little bit closer to me. Lillian, what are you doing? Are you sniffing all the lipsticks, baby? Are you sniffing them? Can you maybe not sniff them? Okay, so here's all of the non-limited edition packaging. Um, this one is actually, I'm gonna get rid of it for sure. I got this at Gen Beauty. It's a liquid lipstick, and it's just too dark for me. I thought at one point I would love to have a color like this, but it's just one of those super deep dark purples, and I know for sure I will never use it. This I actually have never used, so I am gonna put this in my, like, giveaway, like give to somebody that I know pile. Um, okay, let's just hop in and get started. So this first one is Magic Spell. This actually is a limited edition. It was in the holiday collection a long time ago. And I love this lipstick. I pulled it out of my purse, but you can see there it's kind of like a brownie nude. So definitely keeping that one. Peach Blossom, this is in my 13 by Halloween. Um, which is a project that I'm doing right now. It's kind of a project pan. By the time this video goes up, that project might be over. But I'm definitely keeping this because it's part of that project. But this is also one of my favorite lipsticks ever. It's my oldest MAC lipstick ever. I went to MAC and bought three lipsticks at one time. I bought this one, Cream Cup, and Twig. And it's still good. It still smells good. And I love the color. So I'm keeping that. I actually have a backup of that because I bought a brand new one for my wedding. Um, and I wanna, here it is. I wanna keep it because when the project pan is over, I hope that this tube will be gone. And this is like a staple lipstick in my collection, so absolutely keeping both of those like 100%. Um, so Select, so this I wanna say was like an exclusive to the MAC Select. Um, Max Select whatever thing. Uh, the color's really pretty. It actually reminds me a lot of Twig. I at one point got rid of my Twig that was in the standard packaging and bought a new one that's now in limited edition packaging. Let me see. I forget. It was part of a new collection. Oh, right here. I'm going to swatch these two together just to see. I don't really need them both. Oh, Twig is actually lighter. I think Twig is more flattering for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of So Select. Um, next one is Plumful. I love Plumful. You'll see a trend in the colors that I really, really love. This is an older lipstick, but yeah, it's lost its vanilla smell, but it doesn't smell bad. It just kind of smells like a crayon. Um, I'm going to put that in a maybe pile. Please me. Okay, so you will see. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but I moved across the country from Arizona to North Carolina with all my makeup in a moving truck, and it was in the middle of summer, and we drove through the south, so it, it was really hot, and a lot of my lipsticks melted. So you will be able to see, like, this one is a perfect example of where the lipstick kind of melted and like settled in the tube a little bit. And I'm okay with that. There are some that are just really wonky that I'll have to get rid of. But in case you're curious if you see that. So Please Me is a matte. And I'm not super fond of Max Matte Formula. I feel like it's very drying. However, this is a color that I really, really love. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile for now. Um, I have a few of these Viva Glams, and some of them I know I need to get rid of. So this is Viva Glam 5. Mm, that one's probably the one I'll end up keeping. Okay, this one. Oh, this is Viva Glam Miley. And you know what? I have never once put this on my lips. And I kind of want to keep it that way so that maybe I can sell it. You can see it's, oh, I know you guys won't be able to see, but it's definitely melted just a tiny, tiny bit. No. Oh, I feel like people will be weary because it looks weird, but it's just because it melted. Like, there's just, like, little kind of spots on it. I'm not going to swatch it on my arm. I'm, 
I might actually just keep it because it is one of those collector's edition. Okay, here's one where I can't tell. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see, but let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, so this one has like a either like a wax bulb or mold or something on the tip. Definitely throwing this one in the trash can because I don't know what it is. This is Viva Glam Nikki. Um, yeah, it's going. It's not staying. My dog Lily is in the room and she's snoring. So in case you're curious what that noise is. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of this one. Ew, it has like a hair on it. Yeah, that's going. That's going away. Um, Miley. I'm going to put Miley in the, in the maybe. Um, okay, next is Speed Dial. I love this one. It's a cream sheen. I sometimes forget, you know, like I just, it's a really pretty kind of pink color. I kind of feel like I need to categorize these by like pinks, nudes, and like bold colors. So I don't keep too many of the same. Novella Vogue is a matte, and I think this was a limited edition actually. But it's kind of like, oh, it's very similar to Plumful. It's just Plumful is a different finish. And Novella Vogue is a matte. I'm going to put this with pinks. So we'll say, oh, no, these are both pinks. So we'll do pinks, nudes, and maybe bolds. And we'll kind of categorize them that way. Hot Gossip is one of my favorites, but this tube is so old and it's actually almost gone. And it's very similar to Plumful and they are the same type of finish. Mm. Hot Gossip smells newer, so I actually might keep Hot Gossip and get rid of, where's Plumful? Plumful I had in the maybe. I'm going to get rid of Plumful, keep Hot Gossip just because it smells newer. Um, red Balloon was a limited edition. It is a bright pinky red. I don't wear colors like that too often, so I'm going to try not to keep too many of them. Faux is definitely a favorite. I'm definitely keeping that one. I'm going to put that in the nude. Let me pull over my... Okay, Peach Blossom. There's the old one. And then Magic Spell. Okay, so nudes, pinks, and bolds. And then the maybes I'm going to put up there. Glam is another one of those that's just like a bright color. It's a little tiny bit melted. This is more on the reddy, reddish pink side. Um, I definitely like that one more than Red Balloon. But for now, I'm going to just put them both right there. Snapdragon was also limited edition. It's like a purpley pink. It's actually not a color that I tend to go towards very much anymore. It's like one of those cool toned kind of purpley pinks. I actually might get rid of that because it's just one of those like Barbie pink colors. I do wear those occasionally, but not really enough. Ew, this velvet teddy looks gross. It just looks like a really ugly brown. It looks like it oxidized somehow. I don't like that. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't remember velvet teddy being that color. Brave is one of my absolute favorites. It's a nudie pink. Definitely keeping brave. Fanfare. It's kind of like a corally nude. I actually might get rid of fanfare. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting rid of fanfare. Uh, syrup. Love syrup. But again, it's very similar to some of these other ones. I'm going to put it in the keep pile for now, and then we'll see. Here's Cream Cup, one of my oldest, but it's so pretty. Like, it's just the perfect, like, pale pinky nude. Um, Girl About Town is one of those that I love. It is in the bold category. It's very, very similar to Red Balloon. It maybe has a little bit more of a fuchsia pink undertone. I'm going to put it there for now. Sweet Experience was something I went on a hunt for. It's limited edition. It's matte, but it is just, it's just a color that I can't wear. It's, it's too light, and I don't know why I went on such a hunt for that. Show Orchid is melted, <laughs> but it's beautiful. It is very similar to Girl About Town, but even more purpley fuchsia. I definitely know I don't need to keep both of those, but I'm going to put them there for now. 
Mer is kind of in that brown category. It's similar to Velvet Teddy, but it does have more of a reddish undertone, which to me makes it more wearable. So I'm going to put it there for now. Cream in Your Coffee is one of my newer MAC purchases. It still smells very much like vanilla, and I haven't worn it very often, but it is so brown. Like, it's right there with Velvet Teddy. I mean, they're pretty much the same color. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, here's my old twig. I thought I got rid of it. I don't need to keep both of the old and the new, so I'll get rid of the old one. Angel is beautiful. It is so pretty. It is one of those, like, it's kind of similar to Cream Cup, but it has a frost finish, but it's probably the least frosty MAC I've ever owned. Um, that's pretty old, too. Ruby, okay, here's the mold. Let me show you. All right, guys, for those of you who were questioning whether or not this was mold or a wax bloom, it is 100% mold. Look at that. So this is going in the trash can. I'm getting rid of it. I think the mold came from the humidity here. I don't know. Um, Bombshell is a frost finish, but it's one of the prettiest frost finishes I've ever owned. It does have like a golden shift to it. Um, I'm going to put that in my maybes. What is this one? Oh, Love Lorne. Okay, so Love Lorne. Peach Blossom, Cream Cup, and Twig were some of the first that I ever purchased. I freaking love Love Lorne, you guys. I think I might keep, yeah. Lip Blossom, eh, I might get rid of Lip Blossom. It's pretty, but it's very similar to Bombshell. And this is more of a coral, and I don't particularly like corals. Let me go back to my maybes. Please me forget which one. Let me put that right here. Hot Gossip. You know what? This is so old. It's probably just... Oh, it still smells okay. Let me put it there. And then Miley. God, I hate to swatch this because I feel like I can easily sell it. I just don't want somebody to buy it and be like, ew, there's mold. It's not mold. It's just like melted a little bit from the move. I'm probably just going to keep it just because I don't. Okay. Um, all right. Let me do the rest of the Mac and then we'll categorize by color or we'll look through all the colors. So these were from a holiday collection. Um, I probably need to, let me <laughs> wipe my arm off here real quick. I'm running out of space here. Okay, so the first one is Sparks of Romance. It's a matte red with like some golden sparkle in it. Since I had to get rid of Ruby Woo, I will probably keep this as like my matte red. But, oh crap, this one has, I can't tell if it's mold or a wax bloom. See that? I have to get rid of it. Um, this was No Faux Pas. I loved that one too. Rebel, I love so much you guys it looks like it's going to be super dark in the tube and then you swatch it and it's just this beautiful purple so definitely keeping that um i'm keeping all the max selena i don't even care if there's mold on them um this one seems to have some sort of wax bloom maybe yeah no it's fine um, I, I just love the Mac Selena so much. I am a huge fan of Selena. I have been since I was little. I will probably keep these forever just because I love, I just love them and I love Selena. So, um, dreaming of you. So this first one was a more, I can't say it. Um, dreaming of you is similar to rebel actually, but it has like a deeper undertone so there's that. Um, and then Como La Flor is actually a really beautiful, it's amplified red, but it's similar. So this makes me feel okay about getting rid of um, Ruby Woo. These are really old. These are the um, Kelly Osborne and Sharon Osborne collection. I can get rid of the purple for sure. I don't need that. 
Um, ugh, this has some sort of something on it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Plus, this is very similar. It just says Kelly Yum Yum. It's very similar to Candy Yum Yum, which I thought I had, but I guess I don't anymore. Um, and it's also similar to the Miley one, too. And then this is Strip Poker. This color is awful. I don't know. I don't know why I bought any of those, to be honest. So, okay. Getting rid of all of those. Um, this is an, another collection that's kind of sort of on the older side. This is Mystical. This was their Alluring Aquatics collection. That's beautiful. That's a nude. And then Goddess of the Sea is like a purple. Mm. It's kind of in the realm of like Rebel, but more purpley. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Um... Okay, let's look at, I had more of this Cinderella collection. Oh, what the heck is on top of that? I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like I put it on top of another lipstick and it just looks really weird. There's like, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, these are frost. Oh no, it's a luster finish, but it looks super frosty to me. I just, I don't put colors like that on my lips, like pretty much ever. Um, God, it is so pretty though. You know what? This is very similar to some of the Mariah Carey. So let me take a look at those really quick. I need to take them all out of the box because they're still in the box. Okay, I have three of the MAC Mariah Carey. The packaging on these though, you guys, look at it. So freaking pretty. Um... Okay, this one's called Darling. Yeah, look, they're so similar. This one is more of a nude. This one is called McKizzle. That's really funny because in high school, um, some of my friends used to call me Mo Lizzle, so it's so similar. Okay, those are so similar in color. Like, why didn't she make some with more variants? I don't even know. And then this one is called Bit of Bubbly. Okay, I think, and that's another one where it's like, God, I just swatched it on my arm, but it's like melted. Ugh, I feel like it's, it's going to be weird if people buy those, you know? I'm going to get rid of Bit of Bubbly because I just will never wear that color. Um... I might keep the other two, and I might keep this in, because it is pretty. I mean, the more I look at it, of all of these, I would wear the Cinderella one the most, so I'm going to keep the Cinderella one. This is probably the only one I can see myself actually wearing, and I think that was the McKizzle. I'm going to put both of these as maybes, just because they're literally brand new. You saw, I just took them out of the box. So, I'm going to actually keep McKizzle. I'll put the other one as a maybe. Um, the Mac and Patrick Star, I am going to keep all of these. I just kind of recently purchased these. But I do need to take them out of the box. I think I have one that my intention was to put it in a giveaway. Yeah, she better work. I have two of. So, that I'm going to set aside and put that in my giveaway product box. Um, okay, so I know that I'm gonna keep all of these, but I just wanna swatch them. So here's Mama Star, which is like a brick red. Okay, I keep getting fuzz on these. So definitely keeping Mama Star. Oh, so pretty. Um, this is Patrick Wu. So you know what? It's probably okay that my Ruby Wu was destroyed. And then She Better Work is a beautiful nude. So, totally keeping all of those. Um, here's another Viva Glam Nikki. So these are pretty, but they're just, I don't know. They're just kind of like in the color range of like, why did I do that? You know, like I know, I'm gonna get rid of the pink print and I'm this one's more wearable so I'm gonna keep that um 
So these are, here's twig, definitely keeping twig. We already talked about that one. And then nothing to wear is another nude. It's actually a really pretty nude. Those are brand new, so. This was another holiday collection. Um, this one's called Evening Rendezvous. God, it's so similar to Rebel. Let me swatch it right next to Rebel. So Rebel has more pink in it, and it's an amplified finish, whereas this is a matte finish. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, this is hot chocolate, which is super pretty. It's kind of like a taupey purple. It sort of, kind of, sort of reminds me of like twig, but it's just like so unique and I don't have many lipsticks that color. Um, Victoria is very similar to some of these reds that I'm keeping. It's actually almost a dupe for whatever that one was. I think that was one of the Max Selena. It's not quite, so Patrick Wu has a little bit of an orangey undertone. Was that Patrick Wu? Yeah. Whereas this one has more of a blue undertone, but even still, I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, devilish? Oh, why did I buy this? I think I bought it for the packaging. You know what, this also has either mold or a wax bulb on it. So I'm not even going to swatch it. I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, Creme de Nude is, I feel like it's kind of one of those staple colors in the MAC world. It's very similar to like this, all of these colors. I'm going to put it with those and then we'll compare them at the end. Um... Viva Glam Rihanna. I forgot about this one. Um, this one is a frost finish. Really? It's a red, though. I can't believe that's a frost finish. You know what? It's super similar to that first holiday one. This one. Yeah. Those are pretty much dupes. I'm going to get rid of the holiday one and keep the Rihanna one. Um... I think this was Max Holiday from this past year, so 2017. So let me look at these. Ow! Woo! Almost gave myself a plastic cut there. Okay. Ooh, so pretty. Elbow. It's very similar to Rebel again. But it has more... I love that, actually, a lot. I like it more than Rebel, but it is... I feel like it's justified to keep them both. Um, ew, I don't, why did I buy this? This color looks awful. Shimmer and Spice. Frost Finish. No way. Literally, it's just glitter. Why did I buy that? I wasted my money. Okay, getting rid of that, obviously. And then I have these two, which I think I'm going to keep them both. Um, this one is called Smoked Almond. And it's beautiful. But it is in that brownie world. But you know what? Since I'm getting rid of Velvet Teddy and that other one, it's probably okay to have a couple of like brownish... This one is super pretty. It's called medium rare. Um, so I am going to keep both of those for sure. Okay, so now, as if this video wasn't long enough, let's go ahead and swatch all of the, like, you know, those together and see, okay, do I really need all of these? Um... My arm is totally stained, but that's okay. Okay, let's start with nudes. And you know what? I'm going to start with all of these that I know are super duper similar. I have a feeling I'm going to get rid of the Mariah Carey ones. So here is, I think I'm going to keep the Cinderella one. It's beautiful. It's in the color 
royal ball. Like the more I look at it, like just it's hard to see on my arm, especially since I have all these swatch stains. Um, I'm gonna swatch creme de nude next to it. Creme de nude looks so ugly on my arm, but I've actually worn it several times. And it just works somehow. So there is Dolling. And then here is McKizzle. <sighs> McKizzle is very similar to Creme de Nude. I think I'm going to get rid of Darling. Oh, these pa this packaging is so pretty though, but I can't let packaging keep me. So the Cinderella one is totally different. So I'm going to keep that because I like McKizzle a little bit better. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Creme de Nude and then keep both of these. Um, okay, let's go in order of... Oh, you know what? I'm just going to swatch them because I don't remember. So, nothing to wear is kind of like a brown nude. Twig is definitely a darker brown nude. Let me see, maybe I should try to swatch some of these darker colors, all like darker nudes, you know? Like faux, no, faux is not really dark. Brave, well, oh no, that's not brave, that's magic spell. Um, Brave. Brave is like a lighter version of Twig almost. Syrup. Oh, cream sheen. I'm, cream cup, I mean. Definitely keeping it. Although this could fall in the category of like those Mariah Carey ones. Myrrh. I think I'm going to get rid of Myrrh. It's very similar to Twig and I don't need them both. So, getting rid of Myrrh. Angel is similar to, no, it's different. It's kind of similar to Cream Cup, but I think they're different enough for me to want to keep them both. Um, which one is this one? Mystical. I like it because it has a different finish. It's a cream sheen. Um, and then She Better Work, so pretty. You know what, I think because I have She Better Work, I could probably get rid of Novella Vogue. Mm, Novella Vogue is darker. Bombshell, Lovelorn is different. Please Me, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're all various shades, but I'm going to get rid of Please Me. Hot Gossip. I like that one. I love Love Lorne. Keeping that one for sure. I might get rid of Speed Dial. different from any of the others though. Bombshell. Well, Bombshell and Speed Dial are similar. And I think of the two, I like Bombshell better. So, I'm going to get rid of Speed Dial. Which one was that one again? Oh, that was the Patrick Star one. Yeah, I'm going to keep Novella Vogue. I keep kind of like going back to it, but... Okay, I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep those. I kind of want to get rid of this Nikki one. I'm going to. I just, I don't wear the orangey colors very much. And the more I look at it, the more I'm like, ugh. Okay. Syrup is a color I know that I will wear for sure. I'm almost questioning this love spell one now. I mean, it is pretty for fall. It's that one right there, too. 
you know what? I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep all of these. Yeah, brave. That one is brave. Okay, I'm going to keep these, all of those. Um, let's look at these darker colors here really quick. So let me swatch all the reds next to each other. So we have Red Balloon. We have Viva Glam Rihanna. Um, Show Orchid, I believe. Oh, no, that is a pink. I'm going to get rid of that. I can't see myself literally ever wearing that one. Um, Glam is the other red. So when you look at Glam versus Viva Glam Rihanna and then Red Balloon, they're all slightly different. If anything, Red Balloon and Glam are similar. But I like them enough to keep them both, you know? Okay, here is Patrick Wu. And then here is Mama Star. Which you know what is kind of in this brownie world. I'm going to keep Mama Star. The more I look at it, the more... No, okay. No, I'm not going to question it. Just, just keep them. It's fine. This is so similar to Rebel. But Rebel's different. I think I'm going to keep... If anything, I would get rid of Eva Glam Rihanna. I might. It does have like a... Because if I'm going to wear a red, it's going to be a matte red, probably, which would be the Patrick Wu. But those really are the only true red reds that I have. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep all of those. And you know what? That is definitely more than half that I'm getting rid of. So let's take a look and see what I'm keeping. So I'm keeping, well, let's just count them. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. Keeping 34 and getting rid of two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, and there's one in the box, 32, 33. So almost half, um, pretty much half. It was an odd number, so it was impossible to get half. So I actually feel really good about that because my goal was getting rid of half. So, whew, all right. So this is just my MAC lipsticks, you guys. Now I'm going to hop into everything else. But um, if you like these kinds of videos, stay tuned and check out my playlist for all my other declutters. And I think the only one... No, I, I'm not going to sell any of these. Yeah, I'm just going to put these in my giveaway. Or actually, this one, I will put... This one I will give away to somebody, but yeah, anyways, okay, I already explained that, so. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this MAC lipstick declutter here, but stay tuned for more lipstick declutters, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!